This is uh, Leonotus leonorus, uh, common name is lion's tail. It's a very uh, nice perennial slash shrub and um, I treat it as a perennial. It has uh, orange flowers as you can see that uh, show up in the early summer and then a heavy bloom in the fall. You can see here that this is a winter shot of the plant when the um, older flowers have been left on and need to be deadheaded. And you're going to hear deadheading a lot on these different videos. And deadheading is just simply removing dead flowers. The flat plant blooms on new growth. So what we want to do is lower the canopy of the plant and get it ready for the spring flush of growth, which will become a new bloom cycle. Also want to point out that in colder winter areas where there's frost, a lot of these perennial type shrubs um, look pretty sparse during the winter. So that's what you're seeing here. But as you see in this close up, uh, you see a lot of new growth starting to pop. And that's why I like to go in and do its pruning right before it pops so that all of the new growth is going where I want it to. These plants end up being around four to four and a half feet high. So when I do a deadheading, I like to cut them down to about 30 inches uh, to 36 inches. And then when they push back up, they'll end up at that four to four and a half foot height. So you see me cutting below the dead heads, but also you see me trying to do at different heights. Some of them are down as low as two feet and some of them are up around three feet high. I do this so that you get a more regular or natural looking uh, appearance to the plant and so it doesn't look so shaved off on top. This deadheading should have occurred at the end of fall when these blooms were done and lost their color and I would do this the same way at the end of the summer bloom. So whenever these uh, bloom cycles happen for you, feel free to uh, deadhead this the same way. Kind of irregular in terms of where you cut and also um, well below the bloom area. So here's the finished product. You can see that there's not a lot of foliage left but uh, the foli new foliage is starting to push and within a month or so this plant will be entirely green again and start to move into looking like we'd like it to. Since I originally shot this video I've uh, since seen this plant in coastal areas like Monterey and uh, Southern California where they do not get uh, as cold of uh, winter temperatures and the plant doesn't do this die back. As a matter of fact it looks more like this photo you see here where it's nice and green all year long and it gets much larger. I saw the plant as high as um, six feet tall. So um, just follow the deadheading instructions in terms of where and how to cut and then once it's done a uh, bloom um, hit it with some fertilizer to encourage the next round of bloom.